this code sample includes a short code that use a resource, an array resource defined in an XML document we place within the values folder within res. We can name this XML file with any name we want. It's, there, is, there isn't any limit about the name we choose. Here inside we have the root element resources and within that root element we have separated two separated child elements each one of them defines an array as a resource and each array has a name and the values here in our code once we get the resources object we can call the method get array get string array passing over the ID of that specific array. Well when would when would you define a new resource, each resource has a name, the Eclipse automatically update the R class. This is a class you cannot change by yourself. It is updated automatically by the Eclipse IDE. And if you go over the values here, you can find um, days and month. Each one of these two names shown is the names of two static int variables defined within the array static inner class defined within R. So you can actually access each one of these two variables by writing r.array.days or month just as I did here in this code sample. r.array.days. This is the value of this expression is um, the ID number of the array resource I define here. Now when I pass over that ID I get in return for an array of strings and then the rest of the code is just about um, taking out those uh, strings each and one of them using a simple for each uh, loop and create something that is eventually printed out to the screen and this is the outcome.